Hello everyone and welcome back to Portal Reloaded. We've just entered test chamber 18 out of 25 and let's see what puzzle this chamber holds and what we can do to solve it. So right off the bat, we're here in the future. Uh, let's head back to the present to see the clean version of this. And right off the bat, we see some differences. There are some lasers firing up there. Okay. Now, this says... I guess this is some sort of a hint. It says, redirect the laser into here. So that's something we can think about. Uh, what else have we got? We've got an interesting symbol here, suggesting that perhaps... Perhaps this is important, this square. We can see the laser up there. We can see a way to get up to the laser, possibly off of that panel. And then there's a panel there that may lead to the exit. Not quite sure. There's some kind of chamber up there. Uh, what have we got over here? We've got a jump pad. Now, what what on earth is that symbol? Why is there a... Why is there a... Why is there like a bullseye there? That's interesting. What else have we got? Got that panel up there. Got a panel here. So where are we getting momentum from? Uh, let's start, I guess we'll start by hitting the button here. This is gonna drop something for us. It's gonna drop a redirection cube, okay. How do we, where can we go to get up high? We can drop ourselves maybe out of this onto the jump pad and see what that does for us. Where's that gonna send us? Right back the way we came, okay. So that goes straight up. Uh, how do we get somewhere interesting though? At the moment, I feel like I'm a little bit trapped here. So if we, <clears throat> if we could drop ourselves and then change the location of the orange portal or the blue portal for that matter okay so now well can we get off this we really can't all right uh let's try this all right so that's a way to fling ourselves up here and we can throw we can throw a portal up here real quick so that we can get up back back up a little bit more easily uh, now, we can take the, for example, we can take the redirection cube up here. Oh, I, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Let's try that again. Uh, so we need to get rid of that and then... ourselves again. Alright, so I'm going to put the blue portal up here, and we're going to put the orange portal here. That lets us bring the cube up here and kind of redirect it. So what does this buy us? We can now fire this over there, and I guess redirect it somewhere. No, not really. Huh. We can aim it that way, though. We can do that. That will that will sort of work. Okay, so what do we want to what do we want to do with this laser that's pointing over there? We want to get it. It looks like <clears throat> we want to get it over there. So where could we fire it from, and how could we get over there? Uh, I don't see. I suppose we could get up there if we figured out how to. How to get going over there. Hmm. So perhaps this is a this is a case where we want to use the time portal. Not sure. Not sure yet. Uh if we put the time portal there, then it fires right back out of where it came from. That's not probably a solution. What are we trying to do? So, the only way we have to gain momentum is that bounce pad, right? 
as far as I can tell. So we'd like to be able to use it to fire ourselves up to the exit. But the problem we have is that if we place if we place two portals, right, so that I can get up there, then what? I have to quickly place the orange portal on the first shot. And we have to place it somewhere that's going to help us get somewhere interesting, I suppose. Uh, so we can go through there, drop down, redirect the portal over here, and, and end up there. I don't see a good way to be getting out, coming out of that. Unless, <clears throat> maybe if we move it over to the side. Like right now, it's kind of only going in the middle. Can we get it over on the side? No, it kind of gets sucked into that middle area. Maybe that's what the bullseye means. Wherever you hit that panel... It gets, it gets kind of curved into the middle. Yeah, I can actually see the portal uh, projectile being curved towards that bullseye. So how would we possibly get ourselves coming out of there? Right? What if we fired ourselves... Huh. If we did something like that and went straight up, we'd have we'd have a chance to build our momentum. Maybe we'd do something like this. We bounce down here, bounces us back up, and then we get some momentum going, and then yeah, okay, I think I see it. So now we go like this. And that fires us over here. Okay, so that does get us over here. Now we need two lasers, so the t the time portal is going to have to redirect from the present back to the past somehow. Something with the cube, and we need a way to get up here. So, a little tricky, a little tricky. How are we going to hit this? If we look straight forward, that's not really hitting anything. Hmm, curious. Very curious. So how are we going to get the laser up here? That's very interesting. So there's a straight panel there, right? And then we could... If we had... If we had one laser coming in there and coming out of here... How did that work? Oh, because it's coming in at an angle. Okay, so that gets us one. The problem we have is that we need two copies of the laser. So somewhere in the future, we need to redirect it somehow. And then we need to get the other cube from its position in the future there, up here somehow. It's a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Let's see what we have to work with. So, I think we do need to have the laser coming out of here, but maybe... Huh. So, from here, is there a flat panel we could redirect to to get two lasers? There's no real flat panels at this level except for that one. Hmm. Is there another way to get the laser up here? Pointed in that direction, maybe. And then back out. Like, if we place the time portal there instead of the orange portal. Then we could maybe get two copies of the laser in here. So what if we had... Yeah, you know what? If we had, a, if we had the second cube pointing there... Then it would, then it would work. If we so if we get the second if we get the future cube back to the present and put it there and point it at the blue portal, then both checkboxes would be lined up. So, let's get ourselves over there. How do we do that? Now we can do that with portals and then replace the portals later. So, okay, let's remember we're we're putting one portal down there and one portal there. That's our kind of solution point. But first, we need to get over there and then be in the future. Okay, so let's go to the future and get that cube. 
So... We need to do this trick again. Oh, we can't. Interesting. Okay. So that means in the past... We need to... Huh. Because there's no way... There's no way up there. Or no, there is a way up there. There's a way up there. There's a way hidden. I remember now. Okay, so we're gonna... Gonna plop this down. Come through here and... Nope. Uh, fire that over there. Okay, we get over here. Now we go to the future. Grab the cube. Grab this copy of the cube and bring it back to the present. Okay. And now we gotta get it over... Let's not touch that. All right, so now we gotta get this cube up there. And I see a problem. This thing is not angled correctly to get us up there. So how do we get up there? Hmm. Where are my portals right now? So this is interesting. How do we get up there? Maybe maybe things are different in the future. Hang on, let's take a look. Now, in, yeah, in the future, this is angled correctly. But that thing is blocked off. So now we need to get momentum and then shoot ourselves. Remember that you can only place time portals on surfaces which are in the same condition in both timelines. Right. Okay. So we need to... Somehow, if we come flying out of a portal in the future with enough momentum to to come out of out of a, the orange portal, so where would we place the blue portal? So we want to place the blue portal somewhere that we can be flinging ourselves. We need we need the we need to come flying out of the green portal with a bunch of momentum that sends us into the blue portal in the future. So where can we place the green portal? Uh, where we come flying out of it? Like if we do. Hmm. We can't do the momentum trick. Wait, yes we can. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we're if we're bouncing up from here, right? And then at the la and and we bounce through the green portal. Okay, so so we we bounce ourselves, we replace the whatever portal we came out of with the green portal in the present. Then on the next ride through to the future, we replace the green portal with the blue portal. And then we fling out of there and over there. Uh, but how are we going to get the cube? We have to have the future cube with us. We have to have the future cube with us. So I don't know how this is going to work. I think I have the idea here, but I'm not exactly 100% on it. Okay. So if we place the orange portal here... And we go and grab the future cube and jump through. We kind of want to, we actually don't want to be carrying it. We kind of want to follow w along after it a little bit. So we kind of drop it and then we go. No. That kind of works. We've lost the, we've lost the thing though. We've lost this. So maybe we do have to carry it. Hold on. So if I drop through here, bounce back up, then I want to replace that with the green the green cube. I screwed I screwed up. Uh, let's put the blue portal back. Well, let's test the theory first. Let's make sure this works without the cube. Then we'll figure out the cube. So I come through here. I get bounced back up. 
move that. Fly through here. Uh, hang on, I've lost the thread. And then, hold on. Uh, in the future, we want the blue portal there. And we want the green portal, or the orange portal there. Oh, I have to move the green portal. And that gets us over here. Okay. And actually, now we can get the... I forgot there would be one of these up here. Oh, but there's no... There's no laser in the future. There's no laser in the future. What about like this? Okay, we come over here. All right, so now we can get the blue cube up here. Or the, the past cube. Right? Where's past cube? Over here. Grab this, take it up. So future cube is in the present. Now we aim it at the where the blue portal's gonna be, like that, right? And then, okay, so now we've got our cubes in place. If we can figure out how to get up there again, uh, we'll be fine. So how did, wait, how did I get up there? How did I get up there? I can't remember now. Obviously, I've done it once, so it has to be theoretically possible. Uh, I did... I dropped from there to there, and then as I was dropping through... Wait. What did I do? So I dropped through there, hit that, bounce up, and then I replaced the orange portal over there, right? Okay. Okay, and then we put this here, and we put this here, there we go, solved. Outstanding. You are the first test subject to ever make it to this point. In fact, you are the first test subject <laughs> to ever survive a trip to the future, at all. Well, that's encouraging. All right, there's 18 solved. Let's move forward and check out 19. Really, really challenging puzzles. I really like it. It's a great mod. And the people who put the work in on this did a great job. These light bridges are great for traversing over deadly ground. As with the lasers, you will often only have one of these at your disposal. So use them wisely. Okay. New mechanic, light bridges. Obviously, we'll probably send them through some portals. Maybe even a time portal. Okay. So, to start, we've got just a couple panels here. And a light bridge. There's the hint, right, that these light bridges can pass through portals. Okay, here's, here's room 19. So, where are we trying to get? I do see over there... We have an auto-dropping cube. Uh, what have we got here? Put the cube on the button to light up the checkbox. Okay. Put the cube on the button to light up the checkbox. All right. Well, let's start with something simple. Let's, uh, let's just move the light bridge. There we go. That works. We can go over here and take a closer look at what's happening. So, right off the bat, this glass is in the way. It's going to be a problem for us. I do see there's a panel up there, a panel up there. What does this say? Another. That's another thing with a button. We've got a fizzler field. And more goodies up there. All right, so let's start out by trying to... I guess we try to get up there to... Well, no, the first thing we probably want to do is catch this... Uh, catch this cube. Um, I think we're going to have to do that in the future, because while I think the, the light bridge will go through the glass, maybe, or something along those lines, I don't think uh, 
I know that the portal gun can't shoot through glass. So let's go check out the future. Oh, there's still glass there. Interesting. All right. And it's not dropping anything in the future. Okay. Oh, the light bridge doesn't work at all in the future. It's not it's not active. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's go back to the present then. So what we could do is put this here. And now we have both of these light bridges available in the future. It's a little off center there. So we can see that. Um, now this is coming out of the past. So if we change our portals in the present, orange and blue, we'll still have this one to stand on. So we can change blue now to go like that, right? And now we can make our way over here. And what does this get us? Well, if I place the if I place any other portals, these these bridges are, will disappear. I think. So, let's see. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Let's come back to the present. So we have the bridge coming from there to there. That's sort of the, that's the first, that's the first hop. And then it goes over to the orange portal and comes back this way. Is there another way, is, where's another path we can go? What if we go like that? Where does that take us? So now we're kind of over here. I don't think that really helps us that much. What about something higher up? So something like this. Let's go over there. Okay, this does get us over to the first button platform. And interesting, we can't actually clip through the light bridge. It's physical. Uh, but we could move it like that and then... Yeah. That, that lights up one checkbox. I think we need probably two. So we need to get a cube over here. Where's the... The cubes drop from there. Let me see. How would I... We kind of need to get a portal. Let's see. We kind of need to get a portal into... Onto that, that rail over there. Right? So if we come all the way back here, we can see there's some stuff over there that we kind of want. So yeah, the first the first puzzle is figuring out just how exactly do we get ourselves a cube. And I think we can go up here and take a look. I think we want do we want a portal on that edge or that edge? I'm not sure. So the problem is we can't shoot from here because we'll drop. As soon as the orange portal disappears, we'll drop, right? So how? what are we doing here? What are we doing? We need some way... So that goes that direction. That's not super helpful. I think we were kind of on the right track. So we come over here, and then we pop a future portal down, or where do we do the future portal? Do the future portal like that, and then whatever we do with these two portals in the future, this light bridge will still be here. So where can we stand? We can stand here and kind of like, so this is going to come out of here, and it's going to go somewhere useful. Let's head it back that way. Let's head it into the orange portal. That doesn't work. So 
So we can shoot both portals here, which means we can do this. We can at least get that going. Right? So we can kind of get over here. And then... There's the... There's the dropper in the past. Is there anything to stand on here? I do kind of wish I had a little bit of a flashlight here to kind of light things up. So... Yeah, we got a problem. If we could get up there, that would be good. Especially if we could then go back in time. So we could get up there, then go back in time and reset, right? Reset the green portal. Green portal's coming out of there. Uh, let's put the blue portal there. Okay. So... Now if we go back in time... Let me reset this. Now if we go back in time through this... Okay. So now we can change things up. We can put the green portal over there. No. It still needs to be... It still needs to be over there. But then when it comes out... Oh, hold on. Oh, we can move the orange portal now. Move the orange portal over there. Wait, how do I... Now how do I get down there? Oh, there we go. I can just drop. Okay. Are we... We are in the present. Alright, so we can move the green portal there. We can't... Now we can't have the... Now we can't have the green portal, unfortunately. So it's going into the blue portal. It's coming out of the orange portal. If we do something like that, we can see it's not there because the light bridge isn't there. How are we going to get this cube, man? This is, uh, this is a mess. Okay, I think we need, I think we, we, we need the, yeah, we need the, we need the bridge to be going between here in the present. That's what we need. Okay. So we got to get back up there, uh, which means we have to go, okay. We got it. We need to have it going this way in the present, and then we can clone it in, into the future, right? Uh, so, let's put the orange one up there. Let's move here. Uh, let's move this. And then we want to put the orange one right there. Okay. So that's that's what we need. And then how do I get down there? is the problem. Do we move the blue one? No, we can't move the blue one. And we can't really make that jump either. So that's, ki that's kind of what I want. What I don't know is how to get there now that I've set it up. So the idea is then we place the green one, right? It doubles back and we can use that in the future to redirect things, redirect the blue portal, and then we could grab the cube. But I don't know how to get over there from here. So I suppose what I could do is something like this. So I go over here. Oh, that's not right. I fell. I think this is... I think I jump here. I think I jump and switch the portals in midair. So blue goes there. Orange goes there. Okay. Okay. Now we come over here, and we put orange there. We fall down onto the bridge. And then we jump and move the orange portal right here. Right? So if we jump and do this... Okay, that gets us there. And we can put the green portal. And, oh, the height difference is annoying. I don't think I can... Oh, I can! I can crouch and get through. Okay. So now I can move the blue portal. And there we go. We can capture a cube. Right? Oh, in the past. Oh no. And I can't I can't get back up. So I think I think I'm screwed. Dang. This I thought this was the solution. So the problem the problem we have, right? Yeah, I can't I can't crouch jump here. It's not working. 
The problem we have is that we can redirect portals to set this up in the future, but the the thing isn't dropping in the future. It's dropping in the, in the past. So I'm kind of screwed. Hmm. Curious, curious. How are we going to get this bridge over there in the in the in the current timeline we can double it back but we can't then move it so I, th I feel like i was on the right path basically i feel like i was close because this lets us do some interesting things let's come over here oh maybe we can just double our jump maneuver or we don't even need to jump here. Hold on. So we jump we jump here and get this moving over to the other side. So we jump in blue. And then over here, we can just aim lower and drop. There we go. All right. Uh, a little bit more this way. And now we can grab a cube. Okay. There we go. Got a cube. So, guys, I'm going to take a break here. Uh, when we come back, we'll figure out how do we use this cube to solve the chamber and advance through the aim, or the mod. Let's get this somewhere nice and safe. Let's move this over here. All right, there we go. So we got the first part of the puzzle solved. Uh, it's kind of a quickly move the portal while hanging in midair or jumping or whatever uh, so that the bridge reappears in a different configuration but still underneath you. That's, that's going to be the, uh, that's going to be an important technique to use moving forward. Um, so when we come back, we'll continue working on Chamber 19, move forward through the mod. Look forward to that. Until then, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.